I'm Dr. Michael Cheesum, uh, Chair of the First Committee uh, here at SCCT 2013, and it's an honor to be speaking with a legend in the field of cardiovascular disease imaging and prevention, Dr. Arthur Agatston. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Good to be with you, Michael. Uh, Dr. Agatston, you just presented the Arthur Agatston Award uh, for Prevention and Cardiovascular Imaging to Dr. Valentin Fuster. What does that award mean? Well, it recognizes uh, somebody who's done a lot in the field of preventive cardiology. And in particular, I see the SCCT as so important in that it, it's, it, it's created a wonderful partnership between cardiologists and radiologists. And the future of making imaging and prevention successful is that it's multidisciplinary. And I think the SEC really epitomizes this, and Dr. Fuster more than anybody epitomizes this. He's a fabulous cardiologist, but he's understand, understood the importance of imaging uh, from really the beginning. He had a lot of influence on me in starting uh, the calcium score and my conceptual approach to coronary disease and how and how to prevent it. Uh, he really had a lot of a lot of influence. Uh, and in his latest study, the bioimage study, he's used multiple uh, technologies to image, including the calcium score and a new type of 3D reconstruction using ultrasound, uh, which will be really an inexpensive but early detector of coronary disease. Uh, uh, atherosclerosis often stop, starts at the bifurcation of the iliac into the femorals, and so he's uh, developed a new method to look at that in 3D. And, we don't like to do CT scans on people, women who are premenopausal and, and men before the age of 40, but you can do ultrasound at any age. And what we're finding is with our, our really, uh, our fast food uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, whereas heart disease has been, death from heart disease has been decreasing over decades, uh, it's beginning to plateau in the youngest Americans who have really been exposed more than anything else to the fast food, sitting at a computer or, uh, or video game all day. And there, the actual incidence of coronary events is going up and probably a higher incidence of vascular disease in, in early years. And so with ultrasound, you can start really early to pick up some of these and, and later with a calcium score. Uh, it's inexpensive and it's every, risk factors mix differently in everybody. Mm -hmm. So going where the money is, looking at the vessels directly, is the most cost-effective way to begin prevention. I believe, and this may be certainly different than traditional guidelines, and you know, I spend most of my time in the clinical practice. Uh, it's, it's a cardiology prevention practice, high-risk families, and I think you should start with family history and imaging, then go to risk factors as targets, both the conventional risk factors and the new targets that are coming online. Uh, I think it's a waste to just risk stratify on the base of, basis of risk factors alone. Uh, some of our, our new work, we see patients with very high HDLs who are not protected, uh, patients with low LDLs uh, who have very small particles and are not protected, and every combination in between. And I think it's family history and it's imaging that's so important. Uh, one other point that Dr. Fuster may uh, brought up and has been our experience in prevention, and he's taken it to another step as far as uh, educating young kids. Uh, he mentioned once you're adults, probably teenagers, it gets tougher and tougher to make lifestyle changes. Uh, we did a study called the HOPS trial, Healthy Options in Public Schools, where we change food in the cafeteria in young kids. They accept healthy food when it's presented when they're young. By the time they're teenagers, not so much. And Dr. Fuster has this new character, Dr. Rooster, on Sesame Street, and sort of with, it, with, it, with the same approach. So one other message for prevention, 
Early detection is important, but starting lifestyle uh, at a young age when kids accept it is also really important. Dr. Agassin, uh, thank you again for joining us today at SCCT 2013. It is an honor uh, to speak with you uh, for this and more videos. Please check us out at youtube.com slash first and imaging. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.